What is going on guys? Kenny here from 619 Guitars and Gear and welcome back to part two of the LTD Alexi 200 project. Just to recap a little bit, in part one we just introduced the project. We did a little prep work with getting the uh, primer all smoothed out. Now as you can see we got it all taped off. Uh, I asked you guys what you'd want to see done to this guitar. There was a few uh, a few different comments, but what I decided for right now, I think we're going to do a neon green base on the front, and then we're going to do some crackle, so some black crackle with the neon green under it, and then for the sides and the back, I really haven't thought that through yet, but uh, for right now, I just want to get some color on this thing. We got the body and the neck is prepped. I did decide we are going to use the original neck. I'm going to go ahead and do the fret work. So uh, that's always a good thing. A lot of people said they would rather see the original neck used. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to put in the time, make the frets really nice. But uh, for right now, let's get the camera set up in the spray booth and uh, let's get some color on this stuff. All right, guys, well, we got the body hanging ready to go. I'm going to blow it off and tack cloth it. Uh, I'm going to shake up the paint can. All we're using is a uh, duplicolor neon green. Uh, we're going to go a little heavy on the base coat because you have better results with a heavier base coat uh, with the crackle. Uh, then we got to let this sit for around 45 minutes to an hour, maybe a little bit longer, and then we can come back and hit it with the crackle. I'm a little nervous just because I don't have that much experience with the uh, crackle paint. So it's kind of an unknown, not really sure what exactly is going to happen. Uh, we're going to do the body first and then we'll go ahead and do the headstock. So let's get going. All right, well, come to find out, this can I got is a little screwed up, so I'm gonna have to do the best I can. Something's wrong with the nozzle. I, uh, I switched nozzles, it's still doing the uh, same thing, so I don't know if it's an old can or what, but uh, I'm gonna do the best I can. I'm gonna have to spray it a little bit different than I normally do because of how it's coming out, so I'm just gonna do the best I can. Right, guys so as you can see we got the greed base on it came out way better than I thought just because that can of greed something just messed up with it I'm not sure if it was just the mixture inside the can or something it went to three different nozzles didn't make a difference um, but uh, we got it on it looks really good it's been drying for about two hours now the body and the headstock um, and uh, we're going to get ready to do the crackle. Uh, I have about a half of can of crackle, so we're cutting it kind of close. That's the main reason why I'm just doing the front uh, with the crackle. Going to probably do the back and sides like black or something and maybe do a burst around it. Not really 100% sure yet, but uh, we're going to put the crackle on. Hopefully everything goes well. Hopefully I have enough. I uh, did some experimenting like uh, before winter hit and uh, used like half of the can just trying to see how it, you know, works and stuff. So uh, let's get ready to do this.
Well, uh, it's safe to say uh, it cracked. Uh, it definitely did its thing. I'm super stoked. I'm super stoked right now. It looks absolutely fantastic. It's got a great pattern. Uh, I took a picture of it. It just did the picture. It looks absolutely amazing. The headstock looks great. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Uh, it, we got the whole cracking process on camera, as you saw in the time lapse. And uh, man, um, it dries in a really matte, matte black. It's like almost like a charcoal matte black. So, uh, you know, once, uh, once it's completely dry, we will be clearing it. Obviously, I got to figure out what I'm going to do with the back. I'm going to untape everything and see what it all looks like. But uh, I got two cans of uh, 2K clear on the way, so I'm excited about that. But man, I was speechless. It came out way better than I thought it was going to. The pattern that it decided to take is, uh, it's, it's awesome. It, it's absolutely incredible, honestly. It looks super, super cool. Uh, I don't really know what else to say, but uh, we're gonna let it sit a little bit longer and do its thing. And uh, yeah, can't wait to, uh, to come back in a couple hours and, and see if it's done cracking and uh, untape this thing. So uh, we'll be back. All right, guys, so it's the next day. The uh, crackle is all taped off. All that is uh, ready to go. I was super careful doing that. Now it's time to do the back and the sides. Now here's the deal. I really kind of wanted to do neon green. I got like a quarter of a can of neon green left and I just tested it out and it's spraying even worse than it was yesterday. Uh, so it's kind of a bummer and unfortunately that was the last can of neon green in like any store around me I could order it, but I, I don't really want to wait anymore So I have a full can of black. It is what it is I think just doing the sides in the back black is going to make the front of the guitar pop even more So it is what it is uh, Black it is I guess so uh, we're gonna get that on get it dry as soon as possible uh, and then get that um, get that front untaped. I want to get that off of there as fast as I can. So uh, let's go ahead and get the black on. All right, guys, well, we got the black on. As you can see, I already peeled off the tape. Everything looks fantastic, nothing to worry about. Only thing is there was a few little spots where there was still some dust underneath the paint, which once we clear and everything, you won't even notice. Uh, the tack cloth and blowing it off didn't get it all off. And uh, on primer gray, it's so hard to see if there's like any impurities or anything on it just because it's a lighter color, um, but nothing to worry about. And you might notice that the black for the back and sides looks a little bit darker than the front, the, the black on the crackle. Uh, like I said yesterday, the crackle uh, has more of like a charcoaly black to it. But once you clear it, it just brings it right to life and it turns into uh, just dead black. So uh, nothing to worry about there. Uh, I actually like the way the black came out. I'm kind of happy I went with that instead of the neon green. I think the neon green would have just been too much. Uh, too much green, but it looks really good. I was thinking about maybe we could do some kind of pinstriping or something. I don't know. I got to see. Um, but we're going to keep this uh, and have this be the end of episode two. So episode three, we will be getting this thing cleared. Uh, let it dry, wet sanded, uh, buff it out, get it really shiny. It'll be my first time... Um, using 2K clear on crackle. So I'm sure there'll be a lot of uh, wet sanding to do um, just to fill in all the voids and stuff, but uh, super excited. So uh, yeah, we'll episode three, we'll do all that. We'll get it assembled and we'll try to play. It might be a little bit of a long one, but I don't want to do more than three episodes. So that's it. 
Thanks for watching, guys. As always, I really appreciate you. Sorry about there being, you know, a couple weeks without a video. I uh, kind of went through something pretty crappy, and uh, maybe I'll get into it one day, just not right now. But I do apologize. Thanks, you guys, for, you know, sticking around. And uh, we're almost at 1,000. We got, like, almost pretty much at 950. So we're about to hit 1,000 subs. Super excited about that, too. And, uh, yeah, really appreciate you guys, as always. Stay safe, be a good person, drink a lot of water, and we'll see you in episode three.